So for today, we're going to be looking at Ahamkara's spine. It got asked for not too long ago. I apologize that I haven't done a video. It's just, uh, I basically took a day off because I needed to reset my head and play another game. And I'm back. Uh, we're going to be doing Ahamkara's spine. Next few videos, are, I, got a, I got a lot of videos. I got to do a lot of people are asking for a lot of stuff. And I appreciate y'all. I really do. But if you guys like the video, if you guys like the content, let me know in the comments below because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, keep on subscribing. It really does help because a huge portion of people are not subscribed. So again, if you guys can do me a favor, at least like the video if you actually like it. But other than that, let's get into it. So Ahamkara's Spine, it's definitely one of my favorite exotics in the game, mostly because it's a legacy exotic. It's from Destiny 1. It's one of my favorite sets because it like even back then I thought it was super cool in Destiny 2 I think it's still super cool I do think the exotic is weak uh just because it's if it if it had given me another trip mine on top of what it already does then I think it would have been way better but I mean look let's get not get into that because hunters are already fucking OP apparently because we have stompies either way uh as you guys can see from the shadering, it's pretty good. The only unfortunate part is that the actual bone color itself does not change color, so you have to be aware of that. Also, I'm not showing you the other arm because, quite honestly, that's not the exotic portion of it. The exotic arm is the skulls and the skeleton stuff. Uh, little note, if you guys actually do notice the spines on Ahamkara's spine, it actually does move, so that's really cool. But yeah, uh, shadering, the only thing that's going to shader is the under armor, essentially the, the sleeves. Other than that, the bones don't change color. As for the first example set, because I have to two for this one and the ornament. For the first one we're going to be looking at is if you guys want to go back to Destiny 1, then I do have a armor set for you. This is essentially using all pieces from Destiny 1, no piece. Not, not only am I not using uh, multiple pieces, but it's also just Destiny 1 stuff. So the helmet we're going to be using is the Prodigal Mask. This is from Destiny 1. It's one of my favorite masks from Destiny 1. We're using the Tangled Web Vest for the chest piece. This was in, if I remember correctly, uh, House of Wolves. Boots of the Exile, also House of Wolves. And Shattered Vault, Vault Cloak from Vault of Glass, which is from Vanilla is Destiny 2. Uh, Prodigal Mask, if I remember correctly, I think that was in either... Oh, uh, I... Th I think... Oh my god, I think that was Taken King or House of Wolves, I'm not too sure. I'd be... Actually, it might be... Uh, what is it called? Deep Within or something like that? The the, sec the first DLC, the one with Crota? Um, might be that one either way this is all from destiny one uh it's definitely not my favorite because if i'm being honest i would be using the prodigal vest right now that's probably what i would actually be using but i just wanted to showcase this just to show you guys like you can make a destiny one outfit uh, as for the actual thing that i would actually wear with my hunter with this so this is what i would actually be wearing with young young hankara spine uh you guys will notice that this is very casual. The reason I always wear like super casual stuff with young Ahankara spine is because even back in Destiny 2 or Destiny 1, we didn't really have a lot to match the bones with. Same thing with Bones of AO. We didn't have a lot of bone armor to like match with it until like obviously we, we had uh Crota and we had Oryx, so we did have bones after, but at the same time we still didn't have enough to only have one piece of each. So I would usually just wear it with casual stuff. Uh, even even now you can, obviously you can do a lot of things. Uh, as you guys can see right now on the screen, this is how my hunter should be looking, but you could do th different things. You could definitely do the whole Apilos following set. You can definitely do that set if I can find it. Yeah, this one, you can definitely do this one because there's a lot of spine, there's a lot of bonage. But you could also do this one. This one would be really good. And then again with the Apollo's following set and then with the, actually I'd probably do the boots instead because I would most likely want to combine it with this one right here. And then for the cloak, the cloak really doesn't matter in the end of the day personally. I don't, not that one. And the cloak doesn't matter, but don't, don't use that one. That looks weird. Uh, I would probably, fuck it, let's just do this, I guess. And then for the shader, this is where it gets really difficult because you can you can pretty much just do this and you'd be pretty okay. Or you can literally go through each shader and see which matches the perfect or the best. 
uh like this doesn't look terrible in my opinion i would probably change it back because as much as i love the boots the chest piece for for the the hive or the the high yeah the hive one no not the hive one this one the twisting echo ones looks terrible <laughs> so yeah i would do something like this i actually don't i actually fuck with this this looks pretty cool or maybe no i think the mask looks really good with it so yeah you can do something like this and it looks super cool obviously if you're picky about not using the same mask you can probably do something like this which also looks really cool but again if you want to match the bones of a or fuck, if you want to match the bone color of this then dreaming spectrum is really good there are other shaders that i'm not going to go through because it's going to take me too long but again if you want to actually go through it uh by all means the only reason i'm not going through it is because i never i never match the bone color with like this but again dreaming spectrum is going to be your best choice and this shader is still available right now so again uh for what I actually wear, it would be something like this because I'm much more comfortable wearing the, the bones as an accessory and not just like, oh, let's let's integrate it into the whole thing. So that's the first one. Let me know what you guys think. So for the ornament we're going to be looking at is the Augmented Wish. This is literally one of my favorite looks for the Young Ahamkara Spine. I am very thankful whoever made this because not only does all the bone color change, but essentially everything about the ornament changes. I think the only thing that actually does not change is that on the other side of the arm where the bones are not, uh, there is a, a shoulder plate that has white on it. That's the only thing that doesn't change color, but the actual bones themselves actually do change color. So I really appreciate that. As for our shaders, again, it changes color. Thank God. I think Echoed Anger looks pretty cool with it, although the bone does have some weird coloration on it. Uh, Abyssinian Gold changes all of it, but I'm not a big fan of how Abyssinian Gold has that like brown. I think it looks like doo doo butter, so I'm not the biggest fan of it. As for Sato Tribe, I think it looks amazing, but Sato Tribe looks amazing with anything, so that's almost cheating at this point. Uh, as for the example set, I currently have a weird thing going on, but you guys will understand my thought process once I show it to you, show it to you and actually explain it to you. So. Here it is. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm going for an electronical, like, hopefully augmented look. So for the helmet, we're using the Siege Breaker mask. I wanted to use this one because I wanted to use something that has, like, heavy electronic helmet. And this one's really good for that. For the chest piece, we're using the interlaced vest because it has a bunch of electronical stuff. My only gripe with this is the fact that the bottom of, like, the, like, the abs portion looks so weird because if you guys see it from the side there's like a big like opening not opening but it's just really big compared to like the pants speaking of pants let's talk about legacy oath strides these are one of my favorite boots in the games if you want to go for an electrical look especially like an augmented like cyborg type thing um, and for the last one i know this is going to be weird but i'm using the iron forerunner cloak specifically because the crown on the helmet or the head kind of looks like wiring and that's really it from forward it looks really cool but once you see the barnacles it kind of like ruins it for me personally uh this is also the same thought process i had when i made the siva inspired hunter if you guys haven't seen that i'll post it right now but it's essentially a siva inspired hunter which i'm actually going to be making a siva inspired titan and warlock and a hunter i'm just going to put him in there but i'm going to have that video just doing that that's going to be really cool but yeah hopefully you guys understand where my thought process was going i wanted to do the electronical like cyborg thing because of the augmented wish like the augmented wish has wiring has a bunch of stuff i try to do like a yellow shader so that way you guys can see the yellow wiring which would have been really cool but at the end of the day i was just like i'm doing so much extra stuff for for something i would never wear like i personally wouldn't wear something like this unless i i got everything down uh which is just me saying i have to fine tune a little bit more hopefully we have some more armor pieces that have better like augmentation slash cyborg looks because i'm personally not the biggest fan of this one a i'm just not the biggest fan of the chest piece the chest piece is terrible in my opinion uh maybe if i switched out the boots and the chest piece with their respective chest piece and boots then maybe i would have preferred it but i'm out of the 
currency to buy stuff for transmog so you know that's fun definitely love it when i get limited because i done all, all the bounties this this season already but if you guys want to actually see what i actually would be wearing with this it's not gonna be a surprise because i've already shown you kind of so again i apologize if you guys were looking for something unique and whatnot but this is how my hunter would be wearing or this is how my hunter would be looking if if i was using augmented wish which i would be using augmented wish as you guys can see i'm using i'm i just have a casual look again for the young ahamkara spine i will always go for casual look just because that's that's what i've been doing since destiny one and i really just like how it looks with it i like how my hunter just looks like he's super casual like pants and and shirt and then he has a fucking dragon spine on his arm i just thought that was super cool again if you guys i have made some attempts at actually digging into like the bone color you can do stuff really cool stuff with that if you shade her into it uh the electronical look my the the electronical look specifically the only reason i didn't go in depth with it is because the pieces that we have are not sufficient in my opinion once we get a little bit more electronical pieces i i will actually attempt to make something really cool with it but in the meantime i'm just not a big fan of what we currently have is what i'm trying to say so yeah this is what i would be using for young ahamkara spine the augmented wish is just so good everything shaders essentially and i really love it so again i apologize if this is not what you were looking for but this is this is what i would be doing with it because i think if you try to if you try to combine it with the bone color i think it could look really gaudy if you're not careful uh and i also think we just don't have enough electronical pieces to make it look cool uh so as specifically we don't have enough pieces that has like wiring because i think that's the important part because uh if you shader the augmented wish with certain yellows you actually the wiring will actually be yellow and it looks really cool but we don't have a lot of pieces that have wiring in the armor itself so that's what i actually mean uh so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i do apologize that i do feel like these videos just really boil down to just put casuals on uh but for me i pretty much have casual looks for all my guardians because i just like how the casual look looks specifically for hunters i feel like hunters it looks the mo more the most thematic because that's how kind of hunters are they have casual stuff on them so let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh i will have more videos coming up i currently have a lot of videos on my list right now because people are commenting if you guys want to see a certain specific exotic let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me use a certain armor piece or armor set let me know in the comments below i'll definitely do it themes as well i'm down to do themes i'm gonna do the c video so be out for that but be safe and i'll see you guys later